This is Project Kitchen. What we want to do is create great businesses in Wisconsin that create lots of jobs. Local entrepreneurs pitch their ideas. How do you market it? How much do you charge? Tell us what keeps you up at night. For a chance to get their share of $30,000 in cash and awards. We've decided to help build your business. Shut right. up! Yes. <laughs> Who will build the next great Wisconsin business? Creating businesses like this in the state of Wisconsin can only help all of us. Saturday, 6.30 on WISN 12. My name is Mike Idle, E-I-T-E-L. Ah, uh, well, let's see. The usual, um, which is always unusual. The biggest one is opening a new sort of nomad thing in Madison. Four weeks from this very weekend. The funny thing about it is 22 years to the day that the original nomad opened, this will have its grand opening. To the day. And it all happened by accident. 22 years to the day we were issued our liquor license, back when I didn't even know how to do that, yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. 22 years to the day we get that liquor license, we get ours in Madison. By wow. total fluke. It didn't start out that way, it was all accidental, right? Yeah. So, you know, I come back to this town that I thought I was never coming back to other yeah. than for visitations and funerals and weddings. Right. And now it's been what? It'll be 22 years this month. I loved that there were every walk of life. Yep. And I thought, well, I travel. These are travelers. We're all travelers. Right. And then I did in my own head, you know, like some weird thing about if there's going to be one thing I do here for a year, because I had a year. Yep. I'm going to learn how to start a business, drive it in the ground, declare, declare a bankruptcy, and then I'm back in grad school in California, no problem. This was absence of fear of failure. Like I had zero. And that's how it started. Like at that point, I wasn't selling drinks. I was selling like a thing, yeah. a lifestyle. Yeah. The legacy was built by the people who went there and yeah. worked there and kept that original spirit going. The one thing I think Nomad as my little baby that's always been my baby, the one thing is it is by far the most diverse place you can find in this town. Like socioeconomically, orientation, like race, creed, accents, yep. I agree. like home based language, everything, and agree. consistently. And it's stayed relevant for 24 years, somehow, 22. Oh, it's important. tolerance and diversity it and is. acceptance and all that. I mean, uh, and it, that's how soccer is such a good fit, world music is such a good fit. I agree. Like, I agree. Everything's just, there's synergy to all that stuff. That's like, that's what I love about what the Nomad did is that it just created this community of literally hundreds of people, dozens and dozens of like bar owners, restaurant owners, difference makers, like, the people who came out of that building, it's fucking amazing, man. You prefer the oh man, or... totally both. I need both equally as bad. Yeah. I need mountains, I need water, I need beach, I need city, I need crime, I need noise, I need peace, I, totally equally right down the middle of both. At the same time. Everywhere at once, baby. My no parents man. were hippies, man. Like They were? Oh, totally. I didn't know that. We were raised by a village. You know, ridiculously, home is like so many different, I'm just such a fucking vagabond. I love everywhere I go. Like I can't imagine locking myself down to, where do I go for a sandwich? Dude, there's so many options for amazing sandwiches. I mean, I think it's like a conduit and you are, it's like authors or writers or songwriter, whatever. You're like what what I visualize everywhere I go. To me, it's a mental disease. Like I go into a place, I'm like, this is what I would do if I was going to make this place feel better yeah. for people to be in and place they want to go to. So it's like, to me, it's like a palette and art, and I just go there. So does, where does that come from? Does it come from solo adventures and like? All that stuff, I have no, it's the collective. Yeah. Just like living, and what would I want it to feel like when I visited, and that's what I've been doing. From Todd Venus. Day, my 14 year old daughter said, Milwaukee is one amazing city. As a 14 year old, she loves this city. Yeah. That's the Milwaukee thing. Like we all find a reason to love it, even if we leave it. And a lot, a lot, as you know, come back 
one way or another. And some don't, but they're out there doing their little Milwaukee thing. This happens to all of us. We, yeah. we plan to leave Milwaukee, awesome. but somehow we end up back here. Yeah. Sometimes it's our own fault, sometimes it's not. But we, we come back here, and then when you go back here, you're like, this is the happiest, most interesting place. Like, of all the places I've been, this is an awesome place to come back to. It's this city that does weird things. And then you see, you identify when you're in other countries or cities, Milwaukeeans. Yep. You just kind of know, and then you find out, you're like, no way, you're from Milwaukee. And there's like, it's like a Santa. In the, <laughs> like, there's a glimmer in the eye. There's something about Milwaukee. There is, dude. There are people who do ridiculous, amazing things yep. for no apparent reason other than they did it, it worked, it was awesome, people loved it, and it got other people to like get this energy and this community. And we're, none of us are ever gonna stop doing shit like that. Yeah. I don't know any city like that in the world. It sounds ridiculous, but what's going on in that pub, if you do that with all the different communities that you build around, and that's how yeah. shit is gonna change in this town. Interconnectivity of all those different people with all those different visions of and backgrounds, like that's the future of this town. That, that is now. the easiest answer I will ever be able uh, it's what? high speed rail, man. We need mass transit, we need public transit, we need connectivity to the rest of the world. We are being cut out of what will be an uh, infrastructural system that we should have been a part of. You know, there's no reason Milwaukee and Madison can't be friendship cities and totally interlinked and Chicago, it's networking, it's yeah. access to the world. Maybe it's gonna take 10 years, maybe I'll be long dead. Yeah. But at some point, yeah. there's gonna be high speed rail. I'm completely drawing a blank on a secret. I, I feel like I'm kind of an open book, so. Yeah. We'll come back to that. Come back to that. Um, you know, I got knighted by the Belgian brewing industry and then I stopped drinking beer. That's secret. That's probably blasphemous. I didn't say that. I'm Mike Idol and you make Milwaukee rad.